let us let us now look at a question where multiplications and divisions of fractions are involved this again is considered to be a kind of complicated one generally we find students going wrong here so let's look at one or two examples on multiplications or uh, divisions of fractions uh, for example 3 6 by 17 divided by 2 7 by 34 minus 1 9 by 25 equals to question mark squared options are the first option here is 2 by 5 second option is 3 by 5 third option is 5 by 2 fourth option will be 5 by 3 and the fifth option is 4 by 7 right So 3, 6 by 17 divided by 2, 7 by 34 minus 1, 9 by 25 equals to question mark square. 2 by 5, 3 by 5, 5 by 2, 5 by 3 and 4 by 7. Now remember friends, when it is additions and subtractions, splitting the improper fraction into, uh, splitting the mixed fraction into two parts would be useful. But generally when questions involve divisions and multiplications, it would be better if you convert the mixed fraction into an improper fraction, right? So depending on what kind of operations we need to do. If it is a additions and subtractions based question like the previous one, just split the integer part and the fraction part separately, right? If it is involving divisions, etc., divisions and multiplications, it would be better if you go for uh, uh, converting the mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So that's what we'll try and uh, see what is the answer here. So 3, 6 by 17. So 3 into 7, 51. 51 plus 6, 57. 57 by 17 divided by 2, 7 by 34. 2 into 34 is 68. 68 plus 7 is 75. Right? 75 divided by 34 minus 25 plus 9. 34 divided by 25 equals to question mark square. Now, you have to be particularly careful when it comes to these kind of questions, which involves, you know, question mark square. Right? You have to find out what comes in place of question mark. So, directly, sometimes what happens, we simplify this left hand side part. Whatever answer we get, we mark that as answer. Whatever we get here, we mark that as an answer. It is wrong because on the right hand side, it is question mark square. So we have to take square root of that result that we have got and then we will get the final correct answer. Right? So be careful. In a hurry, don't mark wrong answers and don't commit such silly mistakes. Now, after converting these uh, mixed fractions into improper fractions, what, what kind of technique can you apply? Remember friends, I am going to explain something very, very important and crucial now. Whenever you have a division between two fractions, generally it is something like this. If it is A by B divided by C by D, what do we do? We take it as A by B whole divided by C by D. Then D goes in the numerator and D and C. Uh, you know, opposite numerators and denominators get multiplied. So this will be equal to A into D divided by B into C. So that's what generally it is done while solving uh, divisions of fractions, right? While taking divisions of fractions. One fraction divided by the other one, A by B by C by D. So multiply the opposite numerators and denominators. Numerator of the top one with the denominator of the uh, bottom fraction, right? So A into D and Y C Y C. So B into C. So A into D by D into C. But instead of you know worrying about all these steps, just remember a very important and a very smart technique here. Instead of doing all this uh, drama in the exam, simple procedure here is convert this division into multiplication. Instead of division, put a multiplication sign and reciprocate the fraction. Reciprocate the fraction. Reciprocate the second fraction. What do you mean by reciprocating a fraction? The numerator and denominator gets interchanged. So, instead of taking all, if, if you see what's the, what's the idea behind that, instead of doing all this, if, if you look at it, this is what a, a into D by D into C. Can I take it as A by B into D by C? Yes, A by D into, A by B into D by C. So, try to compare with the original part. It was A by B divided by C by D, which results as A by B plus first fraction as it is. Division has become multiplication. C by D becomes D by C. So simple idea here is convert the division to multiplication and reciprocate the second fraction. And why are we trying to convert this to multiplication? Because multiplication of fractions is easier compared to division. At least it looks to be easy. It may not really be easy, but it looks to be easy when compared to division of fractions. Simple logic is replace the division with multiplication and reciprocate the second fraction. So going by that, what do we get here? 57 by 17 into 7 into 34 by 75 into 34 by 75 and, and difference here I am writing the next step so that I can explain it to you clearly otherwise if you are doing it in the exam you can just put into mark here and reciprocate this part that scribbling part can be done here right so try to cut short the number of steps I may be writing all the steps here but based on 
how you understand you can cut short on the number of steps so 57 by 17 into 34 by 75 minus 34 by 25 now what do you do 17 goes two times yes or no so 57 into 2 by 75 so that can be taken as 57 into 2 is how much 114 by 75 minus 34 by 25 now again the same story, you have to take the LCM and, and, and do the calculation there, right? Now understand, if you are smart, instead of writing that LCM 114 and all that, you know that, why, why do we take LCM? We want the denominators to be equal. So try to make the denominators equal, simply make the denominators equal. Like in the previous case also, in the previous question, some fractions are ending in 5, I mean the denominator was 5, some other way having denominator as 9. So we take the LCM 45, so it becomes equal, denominator becomes equal in all the cases. That's what we will do here. So it's easy to convert 25 to 75. How do you do that? Multiply this with 3. But remember, when you multiply the denominator with 3, the numerator should also be multiplied with 3. Yes or no? In any given fraction, when both numerator and denominator are multiplied with the same value, we do not change the fraction. The fraction value does not get changed. So multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. So 34 into 3 becomes how much? 102. 33 is 90, 4, 3 is 12. 90 plus 12, 1, not 2. And 25, 3 becomes 75. So what happens? 75 and 75, the denominators are equal. When the denominators are equal, I can directly subtract the numerator. So this becomes 12 by 75. Yes or no? 114 minus 102 is 12. 12 by 75. What is 12 by 75? 12 by 75 can be taken as 3 4s and 325. 4 by 25. 4 by 25. Yes or no? So what is our uh, left hand side? 4 by 25. Now, Fortunately, here 4 by 25 is not there in the given option. But let's say if one of the options is given as 4 by 25, let's say uh, this fifth option is given as 4 by 25, there will be many students who will mark fifth option as the answer. Because they missed on one simple point here, that the right hand side was question mark square. So what we have obtained here is question mark square. Yes or no? If you take it as x, we have got to know that this is equal to 4 by 25. And what we are required to find out is this part, question mark. Take it to the other side. Are you able to follow? Apply square root on both the sides. So here we can say the question mark will be equal to, it will be equal to square root of 4 by 25. How much is that? Square root of 4 by 25? 2 by 5. Hence the correct answer is option number 1. So that was one silly mistake which, which you need to avoid while solving such questions. Right? Be careful. Not only in questions based on fractions. Wherever you find question mark square or square root of question mark, which we, we, you know, tend to mark the wrong answer uh, because we are doing it in a hurry. Right? So simple logic here is, Convert the divisions to multiplications, you will get the answers faster.